Antonio asked me if I would speak a little bit about some of the varieties that I've developed. Well, on the left is Glow, and on the right is Vintage. The Vintage was planted a year earlier than the Glow, but it's um, a very vigorous plant. These are withering a little bit under the load of the first main crop. I, I harvested today, so um, a little bit difficult to see the um, burden of the crop. But, you know, we're in the middle of summer. It's hot. We, we do irrigate, but uh, the plant is under stress from production. Um, as the plants get older, they'll develop a greater root system and uh, they won't uh, wither quite as much. Okay, so uh, this is glow fruit. Let's see. They're young plants. They should produce nice, nice fruit like that. And glow is self-fertile, so I don't have to hand pollinate it. And then this is vintage. And in some ways, it's very different than the glow, besides the fact that I have to hand pollinate it. Uh, I like, uh, well, actually, I like both uh, vintage and glow because they come in earlier than uh, my main uh, producers. Can I tell you, um, this one was originally 242 in my breeding pro program. That was originally. 311, that's irrelevant, other than the fact that uh, I had not intended to, to grow any plants that required hand pollination, but this one, annual season, not the wave season throughout the, the uh, crop period, uh, vintage comes in before anything else. It comes in maybe a month ahead, three weeks. And that's very important for me to get into the market with something early. So, whereas I typically say I only grow self-fertile, I do grow this one. Um, and it's a lot of work to get the pollen here. This ranch is not close to the house, so I have to come here every single day during the flowering season. I have to anticipate the number of flowers. Um, Okay, so another good feature about this is it produces relatively large sized fruit for the reds. Uh, these are um, probably 11 ounce fruit. Maybe that's a 12 ounce fruit there, and that's a 13 to 14 ounce fruit down there. So, you know, that's a nice size for uh, the reds. So, you know, when you're testing for varieties, try to find a variety that does give you relatively large sizes. You see, now here's, this is probably a nine ounce fruit here, but this is probably a seven or eight ounce fruit. And it's coloring, so it won't, it won't get much larger in size. All right, I think what we're gonna have to do is open it up for questions. <laughs>